Ninjago Dragon's Rising Part 2 has just released and with that we got some pretty cool new characters and minifigures that LEGO didn't include in any of the sets. So I decided to make some custom minifigures based on Part 1 and Part 2 of Ninjago Dragon's Rising. Let's start with the character from Part 1, Euphrasia. She's pretty much 100% painted by me and I tried to include as much details as possible while still being accurate to the show. She features a custom painted hood piece and her robes from the Cloud Kingdom. Overall, a pretty hard figure to pull off, but I'm very proud of the result. For the next figure, we have Dorama, which is a purist minifigure. I made him using parts from my collection and I'm overall pretty proud of the design and I think it's pretty accurate to his show counterpart. Next, we have the ghost from part 2 of the season. As of recording this video, part 2 hasn't come out yet, so I don't really know what this guy's deal is, but the design looked pretty cool, so I had to make a minifigure out of him. Really cool figure, and he was really fun to make. Now we have Percival, very simple figure to make as I used the torso I made for Eren in my Ninjago figures LEGO didn't make video, this time using mid legs. I can't wait to see what role he plays in part 2 of the season. As from what I've seen so far, he seems to be quite important in one of the final episodes. I'm very excited to see him. Now, for Kai, I got his original torso and legs from the Dragon's Rising Wave, but I sent it down the hood he has to be more accurate to his appearance from the show. I also gave him the Forbidden Spinjitsu Spinner's Kai head and also these Power Blast pieces to represent his elemental power. I also did pretty much the same to Lloyd. Overall, really nice figures and I'm very happy to own them. The only thing I did on Ross was paint his teeth white, as the original figure looks totally incomplete without them. Simple customization, but a very great result. For Sora, I sculpted a hairpiece using as a base the Gamer Boy hair, which was an idea by LEGO Impact on Instagram. Go follow them! I also painted her eyes black to give her a more neutral face. She, of course, also has her ponytail. Really happy with the accuracy on this one. And for the final figure, we have Agent Walker, or you may know him as Jay. He has a small role in the season, but I was really happy to see him. He has his suit and his video game controller just like in the show. And that's all the figures, I hope you liked them, and if you enjoyed this video, consider watching my other videos as I do Ninjago content every week. Take care!